welcome back to my channel. If you watched last week's last week's video, you'll see that I have just carried on. I'm in the same position, same clothes. <laughs> so I'm gonna start this one fresh, just so the last video wasn't too long. Um, but we are yes, you can start getting yourself dressed, Olive, if you want to. We are what are we doing today? We've got potting and painting. One minute. We've got potting and painting. We've seen Jack and the Beanstalk, which I'm so excited for. Um, we're going bowling again around two. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try my very best again, but we'll see who comes out the winner. Um, and that's all we're doing today. Um, I, I, I bet I will cheat. You bet you'll cheat. Yeah. Just like Misty. Yeah. He is Misty through and through. I'm telling you. Every time someone calls him Misty, he takes it as such a compliment. <laughs> He had so much fun with her yesterday. We well, had so much fun with all the gang yesterday. You do. You put your three fingers in the bowl and then you roll it, don't you? Yeah, but I use a slope to do it. You do. I can't show him at the minute. It's got no clothes on. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm not sure what else we're going to do today. We're seeing Sammy tomorrow, which will be in the same video, which will be lovely. Haven't seen her since oh, just before Christmas in December. Um, so it'll be so lovely seeing her and catching up. And yeah, I'm gonna go get this one dressed and we'll head out in the lovely rain. But it's okay, we'll be going inside. It is raining, so we're gonna need our coats and our hoods up. <laughs> the thing I want to show you quickly. So this lady put up on Facebook that she was selling these pip shoes, and luckily we was here the same week as her, so we was able to buy them. And oh my gosh, they are amazing. We picked them up from her yesterday, and oh my gosh, let me show you them. <laughs> Pip's face on the side, Pip's logo, and this one's got the skyline going picture on it. Um, again, Pip's logo on it. But how lovely are these shoes? They are so proud, so impressed with them. And they're proper Converse's too, so, oh my gosh, they are amazing. Oliver is wearing Mimi today, and his shorts. It's Chase socks, because what Mimi kept telling you, didn't she? She wants to see you in yellow. So he's wearing yellow, even though we're not seeing the gang today. But he is representing Mimi, so he can be friends. So it's going in Bumblebee. I don't know if this game's going to be a bit too big for him, or how it's going to go. But we shall see. Set. Okay, so that's to shoot the Decepticons. Very good, Oliver. Now colour it. And colour it. Oliver's finished but I made the sleeve a bit big there's a seed in there and you've done such a good job haven't you yep we're getting ready for the new panto aren't we he's got some Pringles and an apple juice we are both so excited to see it see what it's like With... and Chris yeah we watched Goldilocks today so it's kind of like having something different to watch but I'll let you know how it is and what we think of it when it's over. But Olive is so excited, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. You're doing well. Just in the silent arcade. Having a bit of quiet time because it's so noisy. And it's starting to get a bit overwhelming for both of us. The same amount of noise. We come in here to have a little action game playing the 2P machine. And um and yeah, hopefully that will calm both of our minds down. I'll tell you all about 
Jack and the Beanstalk in a bit, but this is a very good tip if you get overwhelmed or if you've got children that get overwhelmed, just come in here, quietly play game. So it's a bit, it's quite calming. This camp for round two of bowling. You think you're gonna win? Yeah. Oh no, you're not. You need to have watched Panto today. <laughs> My name. There's your name. Which means you're gonna go first. Okay? You ready for this? Yeah? Actually, that's another really good roll, Oliver. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Oh no! Oh man! Oh, one more go. My go next. Oh, I got three goes. Two goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice one. Let's go into the next position. He's ready. Oh, he's got that in a nice position. Nice one. This is the top one again. <laughs> Oliver thinks this one is him. But it's hard to save a tantrum. I'm gonna gonna go along with it, but I'm actually winning. B and M. Why does this keep changing? It's really annoying. I'm just gonna talk over this a bit because I think this has been copyrighted. But how sweet is it that Oliver wants to see the PJ Masks again? He wanted to see Owlette, which is just so sweet. It's nice having like the old Oliver back. And Gecko is not happy that Oliver didn't want him. But it was just so lovely seeing this again. And it really warms my heart. It's just so lovely. It's currently Thursday, but let me just show you. Okay? Pip hairband, dude hat, misty pit face paint with dude and Mimi hearts, and then he's got his Mimi outfit, pip shoes, pip belt, misty wristband, and candy wristband. I mean, we've lost his bud glasses, Mimi, so we can't wear them. So Mimi will be so happy. If I go wear his costume. Oh, she will be so happy to see you. After all, she has been moaning, hasn't she? You haven't been her. Yeah. <laughs> She's been a right diva about it. Now, I think he stopped moaning. She might stop moaning now, mightn't she? That's why he's wearing Mimi, to stop I her moaning at him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Misty, she'll probably start moaning now, won't she? Yeah. But you've got her face paint, you've got her wrist cuff on, so... But yeah, Misty will probably have a moan. Mom, let's get some money! You gonna go play in the arcade? Yeah! I still haven't told you about Jack and the Beanstalk, I will do that, I promise. Oliver, I went to bed at 5 o'clock last night, I woke up at 7. Before we see the, the dance kind of Probably about an hour and a half. Um, 
So again, I don't want to film because I don't want to wake up. Okay. But hopefully, it should be nice and refreshed for a long day. Like I said, we're seeing Sammy later, so we are so excited to see her. We can't wait till she gets there. I don't know what time she's arriving, but I can't wait to see her. Also, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you. Last night, I hit a thousand subscribers. Which means I have now monetized. My channel is officially official, so thank you, every single one of you that subscribed. Oh my goodness, I can't actually believe it. I've hit a thousand. It's only taken about three years, but you know, <laughs> I've done it. Well, two and a half years, I think. But I've done it, and it's all thanks to you. I my channel is officially official. Oh my gosh, just thank you so much. I I have no words for how grateful I am right now. I'm just doing bowling. Oh, yeah. This game is a bit of a fix because even when he rolls it straight, it still goes in the gutter. I don't understand. That was pretty straight. And it's gone in the gutter. Gun of all. And I don't understand. If it was near the edge, then I'd understand. But he's rolling it straight. See, so that one I understood. But. Again, in the gutter. But that one again was quite wonky. But when he rolls it straight, it is such a hard game. It really is a hard game. Is that one gonna go in the gutter? I hope not, because yeah, you knocked them down. This is a very, very difficult game. Let's see. Oh, try again. That one's gonna go in the gutter. See those ones, I understand. But when it was it straight, it still goes in the gutter. So he then keeps trying to adjust it, and he doesn't quite know how to do it, and then he'll get like one ticket. You can't even put one ticket in the machine. One ticket? One ticket. You can't even put one ticket in the machine, it doesn't accept it. Ha. Yes. Got an extra. Oh dear. Doing the launch game. It's not the best at this. Oh, it's on the five. Three! Well, that was rubbish. <laughs> okay, it gave me two tickets, so now I'm even. We're even with the, with Butlins. <laughs> he went in the Transformers game yesterday, which I showed. And it is a bit big for him. Because if the Decepticons shoot you, then you die. Like the longer you stay in it, that the better it is. But like, obviously, it's quite hard for a four-year-old to know where to shoot and how to shoot. So it is a bit harder, but he loves it. One point, Optimus Prime shows up and living his best life. Mimi 
was very happy to now stop Oliver moaning. Um, he was very happy that Oliver wanted to stop her moaning. Um, so Oliver dressed up as Mimi to stop her moaning, which she's very happy about. She says, yep, yeah, that will stop me moaning. But now he's got his dude on and we're waiting. Obviously we'll let you know how it went but we won't give any spoilers away because that is against the rules and we're not we're not rule breakers on this channel. We are so excited! So again I haven't filmed much for a bit. Sammy was on the panel for the Mars Singer so she's just gone to get Berkey. When she's back we will ask her how she got on and her experience and everything. But straight after that we went to the Skyline Gang show. Um, Oliver had a headache. If you don't know, he gets migraines. Um, he's on preventatives for them. But he got a headache coming on, got a migraine, so he went back to the room. He had a little sleep. He's saying he's got a bit of a tummy ache now, but it's probably it's the last day. He doesn't get on well in the car, so he has <laughs> travel sickness tablets as well because he just doesn't get on well. So. Um, it's probably all the nerves about tomorrow. He was like this last Saturday before we came. He was really not well the day before just because of all the worries about the driving. Um, so we did do the photo shoot afterwards, which was a shame, but at the end of the day, how he's feeling is more important. And he knows that. He knows to listen to his body. It's exactly what he does. So he is now in a little rock chip. Oh, the the cutest thing having the Mars Singer. So, if you've seen the show before, you'll know that um, Mark walks around and he'll go to the audience and say who they think find the Mars. But Oliver put his hand up for the first one, and then when Mark came to him, he didn't say Oliver didn't say anything. Um, he sort of froze and not to say. So when he comes to the stage again, Oliver put his hand straight up, and where we were sitting, it was like right where he comes off. So he goes, if I come to you, you're going to say anything. Oliver said, yeah. So he comes to him and said, okay, what's your name? He said, Oliver. I said, who do you think is um, behind the mask? And Oliver said, Kit. Because obviously, he had a guitar. You know, it was a very good guess. And Mark was like, what can I make the Skyline guy? Kit. He was like, oh, it could be. That's such a good guess. And I think it was a very good guess because I had a guitar, it looked rocking a stick of rock rock chick it made so much sense so you'll have to find out for yourself because obviously i can't do spoilers if pip was behind the mask or not that you have to do yourself but i still think that was the best guess pip is a rock chick isn't she it made perfect sense that was a very good guess and everyone's just gonna have to go and see my singer aren't they to find out for themselves who it was but yeah when Sammy's back when she's eating her burger king I'll give her a minute um we'll ask her how she's gone on the panel and I still haven't forgotten to talk about Jack and the Beanstalk but I'll do that at some point it was good I really I tell you what I'll do it now quickly it was so good I laughed so hard I cried the jokes in it were spot on, the acting, the singing, such talented people are in the panto and that's what made it, it really is what made it. I think anyone else it probably would have been a bit, I don't know, but the acting, the singing, the jokes, the cast were just perfect perfect for the roles they were playing and i was crying so hard um so yeah you'll just let me know if you've seen it let me know what you think and how you got on with it or if you're excited to see it how you prefer it to the other years but i'd say i prefer storyline wise I prefer for like the Goldilocks and Little Mermaid. It seems to be a bit of a bigger production. Whereas Jack and the Beanstalk is, you can tell it's like a smaller production. But the action and everything was just, really was perfect. And like I said, there was such amazing talent in it that it made the show really good. Because all of a 
like dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely feeling better. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this now before I get copyright. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely picture. Yeah. I'm joking, you look great. No, I would like to have your list. Um, We're ready for another one. Da 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 da, I don't know the words. <laughs> Are you here all weekend as well? No. No. <laughs> So we're back in our room. Sammy has gone home, so I never actually did get her take on being on the panel. But hopefully, next time we see her, if I remember, <laughs> we'll ask her again and see um, what she thought of it. Obviously, I have been talking to her about it, and it was amazing for her. It was absolutely brilliant. And you know, if you're my singer fan, yes, we are coming back for Sammy's birthday. Um, if you're my singer fan, like Sammy's a huge my singer fan, so it was like a dream come true for her to be able to sit on the panel. And she guessed one of them right as well, which was absolutely, you know, incredible. So yeah, she had a lot of fun doing it. And as you saw, we saw the gang, which was nice, and it's always sad saying bye to them, even though we're always back. This is our only Bogner holiday this year. We've got three Skegness holidays booked, but we have renewed our annual pass, so we will be coming back for the day, or maybe overnight in the travel lodge like we normally do. This is our only Bogner holiday, so it's quite emotional, thinking that, you know, it's just, it's amazing coming for the day. And we're so lucky to be able to do that. But at the same time, it is quite nice, obviously, having a room. So you've got somewhere to put all your stuff. And like Oliver wanted to keep coming back and changing or having a sleep when he got tired. It was um, it was nice to be able to do that. It's nice to have somewhere to go. And if I want to make a coffee, you know, I've got my... It's actually being washed up at the minute. <laughs> you know, I've got my coffee cup. Come back at coffee. No, grab some snacks um it's just been very behind you nice being able to do that is it okay one minute um so yeah it has been um it has been nice but like i said we're very lucky we're only two hours on a good day two hours on a like a Monday or Friday or a busy day, it can be like two and a half hours, but that's still not far. We're not far from Bognor, you know. So we're very lucky to be able to do this. What we're gonna do but I am gonna miss actually staying here. What yes, darling. Are we gonna do after tomorrow? After tomorrow. So we're going home tomorrow, and then the day after tomorrow, we've got gymnastics. <laughs> can be like Sprout. I actually, Sprout, if you sing Going for Gold, does a pummel horse, which, you know, like gymnastics. And the song they sing, He's got a heart of a lion. It just reminds me of Oliver. Like, I know probably a lot of parents that have got kids that do sport what will relate to that. Gotcha. But when I first heard it, because of the fact that it's gymnastics as well, it oh, just so... I hope you get your certificate as well. You're very close to getting your level six. You're two 
two skills away and I know you can do them they just need to see you do them they haven't had the lesson like I know he can do them because I've seen him do them it's a tuck jump off a platform a stretch jump off a platform he does that all the time I know he can do it but they just haven't had the lesson to be able to tick him off for it yet um he's so close but yeah yeah I think I think star jumps has already been ticked off I'm not sure darling um I can't remember what we've been Walking across the high beam that's been ticked off and doing a forward yeah. roll over the bar and hanging in pike and hanging in Please. straddle, I want to say it's been all ticked off. I don't know, but I'm, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop this and I'm going to get pushing out oh, the... Um, yeah, yeah, where you push yourself on the bar and push yourself back. I've forgotten what that's called. Um, cast, cast and push away on the bar. That's the next and, um, one, but he can so do that. On the bar and swing. Yeah, hanging in fish, fish swing. That's level five as well. And again, I know you can do that one. So, yeah, I'm rambling now. Um, so I'm gonna go get all of it to sleep, get my makeup off, and just have a nice last night. And I'll my in our home away from home which is very sad but like i said we're we'll back for the day but it's just it's just always sad leaving and going back to reality well we've got all our stuff i love what's what's the skyline that's just gonna take so much longer it's a lot of stuff <laughs> although i probably just don't pack it well but i'm trying not to cry yes i can keep feeling myself going Swimming is open from 9 till 12, so we're going to put our stuff in the car, go in the arcade, then we're going to go swimming. It's about, I don't know, 20 past 8 ish, I have no idea. But I'm actually trying not to cry. <laughs> it's, I think it's just the fact that it's our only Volcano holiday, and it's so lovely being on site. Being able just to pop back to your room and Batlands is just such an escape from reality. Not that my reality is bad in any way. I've got, you know, I'm very happy with my life. But, you know, when you're just away from drama and I don't know, I'm just not ready to go back to normal life. Lewis Evan is last play in the arcade. I don't know if we're going to trade our tickets in now or save them for later on in the year so he's got more. That'll be his choice. He hasn't got many, so. Um, well, he's got these today. He's probably got about three, four hundred tickets, which, to be fair, is a lot for a four year old. But when you consider that'll just be a packet of sweets, a lollipop, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know if it's best just to wait to let him on the year, but that'll be his choice. I'll let him decide what he wants to do. But after we've done this, after he's used all his coins, we're going to be um, going swimming and then heading home. Wow, first place! How many tickets has he got? Okay, go on then. Uh, I've got 25 tickets. Good job. I know he's obsessed with this one because he finds it very funny. How he lands. He normally gets about three tickets out of this machine. Yeah, it's probably got another three tickets. Oh dear, he finds it so funny. I know he's obsessed with this bus. <laughs> so much so that he uses his arcade money just to have a ride on it. What are you doing? <laughs> his last coin is using on the monster truck. 